Hello, everybody. I'm KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey. And I'm Melissa Luck. We're here in Mission Park in East Spokane today with an interesting story and a sad story that is commemorated here in Mission Park forever. The memory, of course, of Otto Zem. It was 10 years ago next month that Otto Zem lost his life after a battle with Spokane police officers. There will be a lot here next month to commemorate his passing and the lessons we've learned, but that is not the only part of our story today. Jeff. Now, the other big news going on right now is that Carl Thompson, the former Spokane police officer at the center of this tragedy, he is about to get out of prison, and a lot of people are wondering, how can that be? Yeah, Jeff, it's something that you've been talking about for the last few days, and I think all of us in the newsroom and people watching, I'm sure, are going to say, how in the world is he already eligible to get out of prison? Well, he is just about done sh serving the lion's share of his 51-month sentence. He was actually eligible to be released on parole last month if he had gone to a halfway house. Instead, it looks like he's electing for a different way out in federal prison. If you qualify for good time off for be good behavior, you can get the last 10% of your sentence and actually serve it in a form of home detention. And we now know that that's going to occur not here in Spokane, but somewhere else. Jeff, I think a lot of people will forget the details. We remember what happened to Otto Zem. We remember his face. We remember all of the fallout that came from it. But Carl Thompson was not convicted of the murder of Otto Zem. It, it's a shorter sentence because it's a lesser crime. Yeah, and that's an important distinction. A lot of people think that, that he killed Otto Zem, it's not true, and that's why you have this 51-month sentence. We've seen a lot of benefits that stem from Mr. Zem's death, and they include the crisis intervention training the Spokane Police Department is now receiving to help them better recognize when they're dealing with someone who is not a criminal but is acting up because they're having mental health problems. We also saw that uh, the the Department of Justice, it's not afraid to come into Spokane when people think that the police department has not behaved properly. That's what happened in this case. It sent a very strong message that there is an overarching higher power that can scrutinize the police department's actions. I think that's the thing to remember is a lot of people will hear about police brutality or, or cases involving police violence and say, oh, just like Otto Zem, but they, they don't always give credit to what has been learned. A lot of that came from the Department of Justice saying you need to change this, this, and this. But I mean, we hadn't even heard the term excited delirium until Otto Zem, and now it's something specifically the police department trains for. And we have specific examples of where that crisis intervention training has made the difference when police get called out, where things are de-escalated and people that are just in mental health crisis are, are not hurt and bad things don't happen to them. And the police department is getting better at, at recognizing that, and that is one of the benefits of what happened to Otto Zem. The bottom line, of course, is regardless of how the community feels about it, um, Carl Thompson is going to be released from prison. It's going to happen very soon. Jeff is one of the few reporters in Spokane left that has covered this from the very beginning. And so I think tonight you're going to see the expert opinions that Jeff has, has round up to talk about this, his perspective as well. And Jeff, including an interview with somebody who I think you were just as surprised as we were, is actually okay with this release happening. This person's okay with Carl Thompson, get it out. And, and, and they're ready for this case to move forward. We'll have that interview coming up tonight as well.